all right so we are done with our csi net exam and the next thing which you might be preparing is the next csi net exam right but in this video i'm going to tell you about what are the other opportunities or what are the other options which you have and which you should actually grab if you are planning either to go for job purpose or if you are planning to go for the research purpose so both of the things i'm going to cover in this video and especially this video will be useful if you are watching in the month of uh, september october or november and in the month of december because these exams are conducted in the month of january february and march so all these opportunities and all these things which i'm going to talk about is within this particular cycle of the year and it is also applicable in the other cycle that is in the june july cycle but for that i'll make a different video when that time will come right but right now we'll focus on uh, these things which are going to be conducted in the upcoming few months all right so apart from csi net exam the other thing which you should focus upon and which for which you don't have to do uh, any additional you know any additional uh, preparation or any different type of preparation that is your gate exam because both of these exams have same syllabus uh, you have to entirely study both in both the exams you have to study the same things and uh, the only thing is the gate exam is little bit different the approach of the exam is little different from csi net exam and for that i'll make a different video i'll make a separate video i'll discuss over there that what are the like how you can approach gate exam apart from csir net so that is the first thing which you should uh, look forward that is gate exam uh, the notification for gate exam form filling is already going on and uh, the exam will be conducted in the month of february and this is one of the opportunity which will give you a job perspective also and it is also going to give you like research related perspective so both the things you are going to get through this gate exam so this is the first thing which you should actually focus upon apart from csr net the second thing which you should look upon especially if you want to go for the research field and if you want to seriously do research in india and you want to do research from the best place in india in that case tifr is the next thing which you should look upon our tifr is tata institute of fundamental research it's a semi government institute it's a uh, it's it's a well renowned institute and top scientist and uh, you can say that the best place to do research in india it is among one of them okay so apart from iits isers tifr is one of those which are individually funded and uh, like that research is top notch over there so the form filling of uh, tifr is is also going on and uh, the the exam is going to be conducted in the month of Feb uh, in the month of december okay so that is going to be the exam uh, like that is going to be the time when tifr conducts its exam now tifr exam is little different than csir net or gate because here the approach is not like how you go for csir net or how you go for gate here the number of questions are less in the entrance exam and you are given enough time to solve it it's about how you how much you understand the concept so tifr is more about uh, like uh, context wise means how much you understand the concept how much you know the subject in detail so if you know the subject in detail in that case only you will be able to qualify or in that case only it will be easy for you to qualify tifr entrance exam now why why you should go for tifr the first thing is as i told you the research over here is top notch uh, instrumentation or instrumentation or instrument wise these institutes are there are two tifrs okay tifr mumbai and tifr hyderabad both of these are highly uh, equipped with best instruments then uh, the faculties over here are top notch so everything about research is best over here uh, the funding over here is also good you will be getting equivalent amount of fellowship as uh, jrf gets even if you are not a csir net or if you have not qualified jrf so if you have qualified their entrance exam you become eligible for that stipend all right so that is one thing which is good about tifr so this is the second thing which you should look upon apart from uh, your csi net preparation third thing which you should look upon is uh, gsi or uh, geoscientist exam upsc gsi exam this exam is conducted once a year and this is uh, conducted by upsc that is union public service commission the same uh, organization which conducts ias or civil services exam now what is the like what what is the usp of this exam so basically this is the top job which you can get top government job which you can get through chemistry in msc in india okay so if you have done msc in chemistry and if you want to do top level uh, government job in india with uh, that chemistry field so geoscientist is one of them one of that particular job uh, the seats are very less this year they have just uh, like offered 20 seats and that's why a competition is very high over here even the selection process goes through three steps first step is preliminary exam which will be conducted in the month of february then comes your mains exam which will be conducted in the month of 
uh, June or July and then comes your interview which will be conducted two months after that and uh, if, if you qualify all the three steps then you become eligible for uh, for this particular uh, post and uh, why you should actually go for it or why you should uh, grind yourself for this one thing I already told you it's the top job uh, top government job which you can do through MSc chemistry Th that is one thing second the payment is quite high over here so for that also you should go for it and third thing is the reputation which you get from here is good so in case if you are not willing to go for research or if you are not willing to go for higher studies in chemistry and you have done masters in chemistry or if you are doing masters in chemistry in both the cases this is one thing which you should look upon so this is eligible like if you are in the final year of masters then also you are eligible for it and if you have qualified masters then also you are eligible for it i have made ded dedicated videos on these all things I'll give you link of them in the i button. So after every like whatever topic I'm discussing, the i button will flash that particular video. If you are interested, you can watch them in detail, right? The next thing which you for which you should look upon is uh, uh, through different IITs. Like different IITs, different ISERs, they also take intake uh, students based upon uh, their performance in the previous gate exam. So what they do is they open up their admission portal uh, and that is what you should look upon. Different IITs and ISERs and NITs, they have on their official website, if you look upon them, you will find out that they have started their admission process. Although not now, they will start in the month of December and January. So you should look upon those as well. If you have done good in the previous GATE exam and if you are taking up that GATE score and want to take admission into the IITs, this is the time in which you should look upon. Okay. So this is again going to be in the field of research. This will go take you to the research orientation. But yeah, that's what it is. So this is the next thing which you should look for. The next and the last thing which you should look for apart from CSI net preparation and all that is basically um, internships. Okay, so internships and uh, like winter schools, all these things are going to be started by different IITs. So twice a year, IITs and ISERs, they conduct uh, like internships and workshops based upon different topics or based upon different uh, fields so that they can give you experience of their institutes and if you belong to a normal institute or if you belong to a certain university or a state university in that case you can get the uh, the gist of iit okay you can see how the uh, research is carried out in iits and all through these internships so that's what it is and every year in the month of uh, like october november they will give you forms for the upcoming uh, internships so I'll notify you in this particular channel whenever the forms will be coming up. So do subscribe to it so that you get notified for that. So yeah, that is one thing which you should also look upon. So these were certain things apart from CSI net preparation. Why, I'm, why I have made this video because I wanted you to be aware about all these things. You should know about all these things that okay, let's it's good that you are preparing for CSI net exam. But apart from them, you also have to look for the other options which are there and you should not miss out any of them, right? So this was all about it. This video was all about all these things. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you got information about it. Do let me know if you were not aware about any one of them uh, in the comment sections below. And if you have any questions related to all these things which I have discussed in the video, then also you can ask in the comment section below. I will try to answer you over there. That's it from my side for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Until then, have a great day. Bye-bye. Take care.